try to figure out how to see if anyone's going to join me. Oh, oh, I can hear the ferret cage right under me. Let me just type in here, let y'all know that I'm in here. If anyone, any one of y'all are here. see anyone in here yet but it does say live so I will get started hi everyone Glamla here today is Wednesday I believe June 3rd I know it's June 3rd I don't know if it's Wednesday or not it is right babe yeah, yeah <laughs> okay right. to, today is Wednesday June 3rd and I've been missing y'all <laughs> and so I just wanted to say hello and I um Tried to talk to y'all, I believe, on Monday, June 1st, but man, my Wi-Fi just was not doing very good. And you know what? I forgot to connect to the phone, but I was on the, I was connected to my phone last time on Monday and it did not work well. So maybe just using the RV Park Wi-Fi today will do better for us. So if any of y'all are in here, by all means, say hello. Don't be shy. You don't want to leave me in here all by myself because nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, what line was that from? I know many of y'all know, right? All right. Um, so anyway, just wanted to uh, update y'all on anything going on in my life. Not a whole lot at this point. Not since Monday anyway. I, I know y'all only heard half of what I said because I think I was on for like, I think 23 minutes or so and I had to cut it down to like, 14 because audio was gone and then video was gone so it's like oh boy i'm just gonna cut it right here um in the middle and uh so i did i could have just not published that but i thought well you know anyone who subscribed to this channel they want to see new content so i went ahead and left it up uh oh i just lost my coloring now i look all washed out I swear, I'm always having problems. Oh, there we go. I'm back to normal color again. <laughs> All right, so what was I telling you on Monday? Oh, yeah, I was, right when it went out, I had been holding up a, uh, a piece of uh, fabric that I was crocheting, and it was my first, it's my first time ever trying the pineapple stitch, and I love it. I mean, it's, kind of confusing at first until you get the hang of, okay, now we're coming to this, so now it's going to be this. You know, I, I'm reading it off of a pattern, off of my crochet magazine pattern, and I'm making a blanket, an afghan for my mother, and uh, so it's supposed to be something like 60 by 60 inches or something like that, and I've only got a square about this big so far. I've only worked on it for two nights um, while I was watching TV. I think I worked on it for about an hour one night, two hours the next, because I'm trying out some new crochet hooks. <laughs> a company approached me and um, asked me if I would do a review on their product. And I, they said, if you like the product, you can do a review for us. If you don't, just keep them on the house. And so I won't let y'all know if I like them or not yet. I'm going to um, let you know later on what I thought. And um, yeah, so I am not going to put anything on my channel that I really don't approve of. I'm not going to try to say, oh, you got to go out and get these if I personally don't like them myself. Although you personally may have liked them, but I don't want to endorse anything or um, say, oh, these are fantastic if they're not. So I am testing them out for y'all first. Um, so anyway, as soon as I do, um, if I end up doing the review, I'll do the review and I'll use the crochet hooks at the same time while I teach y'all a, a little short tutorial. Oh, that brings me to a point that I wanted to ask you. Um, for my next tutorial, it's gonna I want to keep it just a really short, maybe 15, 20 minute tutorial um, 
just because like I said, the Wi-Fi is always going bad on me. Um, so I wanted to ask you, I was thinking of doing a pretty flower tutorial or maybe a bracelet tutorial. Which do you think you would like? Or the bracelet I'm thinking about can also be used as an anklet. So it's kind of like a two in one. So let me know which tutorial you would like to see um, next. And so yeah, that's my question to y'all. Um, for any of y'all that see this, leave it down in the comments below. Even if you're not in here live right now, when you do watch this, um, leave it down in the comments below which video you would like me or which tutorial you would like me to make. Um, a pretty flower by itself or just so that you can use it to put on on anything, on hats, on sweaters, on anything. Um, or, let me see, sorry, I have an itch. Um, or, <laughs> what did I say, a bracelet slash anklet. Okay, and I know that many of y'all have been asking me, trying to get the lighting back, sorry guys, there we go. I know that a lot of y'all have been asking me for um, a barefoot sandals tutorial, and I promise you, it's coming soon. I'm not sure which one I'm going to make yet, but believe me, it will be coming soon. I've been asked for two years now um, to make a barefoot sandal tutorial and bikini tuto tutorial, and I think I'm going to do both of those this summer. So yay! If you're not subscribed yet, go and subscribe to my Made with Love by Glamour channel because I will be having some new content on there as well. Content that y'all have been asking for for two years. Um, before I was going through different, um, I was going through a list of different requests that y'all were wanting. And I don't like to crochet winter stuff in the summertime and summertime, summer stuff in the wintertime. So um, I crochet according to season. <laughs> so. I don't like, especially in Texas, but even when I was in Washington, I don't like crocheting. Woo, another subscriber. Thank you. Um, I don't like crocheting with acrylic or any type of um, warm yarn in the summertime. So I like to crochet with 100% cotton or crochet thread. So you'll be kind of seeing that for me this summer. And if you don't normally crochet with crochet thread, this is the perfect time to start. We can start, we can do it together. Um, I don't use it that often, crochet thread. I usually use it when I do barefoot sandals or um, bracelets or anklets or necklaces or earrings, which I don't do very often, but I do do them just not as often as I'd like. Um, so I want to get more practiced up on it as well so we can practice together. Um, let me see. No one's in here yet. I sad. Not really. I'm not sad. I'm having a good day. That's why I'm here with y'all today. No, I'm actually doing better, you guys. So I'm planning on um, having live events more often. I'm not going to do scheduled live events um, yet because I don't want to commit myself to something um, in the future that maybe on that day I'm not going to be feeling up to it. And I don't like to give y'all 80%, 20%, 60%. I like to give y'all 100% of me. So when I'm feeling good, boom, you'll know because I'll be on camera. <laughs> All right. Darn, this lighting keeps going bad on me. Stop it already. Stop it. Stop it now. Okay, maybe if I make the laptop go down a little bit. Why you think? Nope. It's still not good. All right, well, let's have fun while you watch me talk to myself. Eek. What is the problem? Por favor, dime, ¿qué es la problema? Okay. All right, so I don't even know what I was saying now, see? Oh, but I'm doing a little better. Things in life are settling down. I mean, it's never going to stop, right? <laughs> um, there's always going to be some kind of stress going on in life, but... I'm dealing with everything a little bit better. I've put certain things that are going on in my life into perspective, into the, their proper places. And um, I mean, I've always had it in perspective. I just needed time to deal with it personally myself, you know. All righty, the color is gone again. So I'm in better spirits these days, which is really weird because I'm not even taking my antidepressants anymore. Hmm, bizarre. 
because <laughs> as many of y'all know, I, uh, I, I started crocheting because I was suffering from social anxiety, PTSD, um, deep depression, and I don't know, there was one other diagnosis that I got that I don't remember. Um, yeah, but those are the main ones that kept me in the house and kept me uh, kind of like wanting to go loony was the social anxiety and um, the deep depression. So um, I was on, they couldn't really find the right medication for me for the social anxiety. So I, it took, I'm just now starting to go places a little bit more. Um, I still have to like see myself getting in the car, driving to wherever I'm going. Let's say I'm going to a grocery store. I have to see myself driving there, getting out of my car, going into the store, walking down the aisles. I have to visualize it all before I can wrap it around my brain and actually do it. So I'm still there, but at least I can do it now. Yay, yay me. <laughs> um, but they couldn't find the right medication for the social anxiety portion of what they diagnosed me with. So everything they tried either made me worse or made me real sad or made me jittery or made me real sleepy or um, real nauseous. That's the one I hated was the nauseous one. Um, so I just gave up on the social anxiety medicine and just took the, the antidepressant. But even that, um, um, my husband's out of a job. He's been out of a job for about four or five months now. Maybe not that long, maybe four months. And I just, I just thought I would wean myself off of it because they're expensive and I didn't want to cost him extra money. Um, so yeah, kind of tried to wean myself off of that and I'm completely off. It's been about maybe a month or two that I haven't been on it. No, maybe a month. Um, so yeah, doing good. I'm here. <laughs> Um, let me see. Why did I even bring that up? Oh, because I said I'm not going to do scheduled live events yet because I still kind of struggle with things. But um, I will. I want to try to do like I'm just going to I'm just putting it out there. I'm not saying I'll be here every Monday and Friday, but I want to kind of try to do a get started of the week with y'all and then end the week with y'all. And then when I come back on Monday, let y'all know what I did on the weekend. But I'm not making any promises. That's just what's going on in my head and what I want to try to do. But I don't think I'll be doing daily live events like I had been doing. So come on. Somebody come say hello to me. Do you have, Adam, do you have me on your laptop or anything? Can you still see me? What if no one can see me? What if I'm not even live? I'm not alive anymore. Sorry, guys. Yeah, see? I should get back on my antidepressants, huh? <laughs> um, so let me wait and see what Adam says. Man, I I just, I wash my hair like once a week. I know that sounds bad, right? But hey, <laughs> my hair doesn't need it but once a week. Um, but this is what freshly dry or freshly washed hair looks like. It is a frizzy mess. So I washed it yesterday, and I usually straighten it the next day, but I just haven't felt like it. Yeah. I'm yeah, live? Lisa Nobody Wilkins. wants to see me. Lisa Wilkins is in there and says, hi, Glamour. Oh. You're doing well. Oh, maybe I better refresh that. <laughs> oh, darn it. Someone's been in here, and I can't even see. Oh, yeah, Lisa's in here. Hi, Glamour. Glad to know you are doing well. Looking forward to to more tutorials on all of your channels. Cool. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. So here I've been just saying, nobody wants to see me. Talk to me when you're actually in here. Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, did you see my um, my beauty video that I did yesterday on Glam It Up with Glamour? Uh oh, my son's chihuahua is hacking over there. <laughs> um, it was on I bought three different foundations. I am always looking for the perfect foundation. I don't know if any of y'all ladies are like that or not, but I can never find the right foundation. But I bought Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Foundation in the color Warm Beige. And that's what I'm wearing today. I love it. So I obviously gave it two glamour thumbs up. <laughs> and then I think on Friday or maybe sooner, but I was kind of trying to... I was kind of trying to think of a series to do for my beauty channel. And I was thinking maybe I would do Foundation Friday. 
Uh, so maybe I'll do my second foundation on Friday. It's the Maybelline Fit Me. I hear so many good things about that one. I hear that it's kind of like a dupe for the MAC um, Mac Studio, I think it's called. Um, so I'm excited about that because I've never tried a high-end foundation. I've never tried a high-end anything. Uh oh I'm dying, babe. Where's my battery? I'm at 7%. And when it says 7%, it goes like within seconds. My husband's going to bring me my battery charger real fast. Real quick, faster. Um, so Lisa, is your daughter in here with you? And I forget your daughter's name. I'd like to say hi to her too. Hi, daughter. <laughs> So yeah, I uh, let everyone know like maybe two or three minutes before I came on live that on my Facebook personal page, my Glamo Wilson. Yay, another subscriber. And on my, oh, oh. I'll do it, I'll do it. Cause your hands right in, right in my face. You're all up in my grill, Adam. Okay. Now the coloring's really bad. What'd you do, Adam? What you did? I know. Why? Oh my word! Now the coloring. Now I look blue. Look at me. Come look at me. Come look at you, blue. Come look. You want to see what you look like, blue? Because hey. you have power hooked in there. Hmm. Hey, you're not as blue as me. How come? Maybe because you're not in the light as much. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my grill. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's weird. Don't do that to me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Don't love me. <laughs> okay, anyway, color's coming back. I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, how I had just let everyone know on my Glamour Wilson personal Facebook page. I just said, hey, I'm going to be live soon. Oh, someone else is in here. English Only Zone says, hello, hi. <laughs> Welcome to um, today's live event. And... Then I also let everyone in my crochet group, which is Glamas All Craft, I always have a hard time saying the whole name, Glamas All Craft Show and Tell Circle group. And then I let everyone know, wow, I'm getting all these subscribers. Yay. <laughs> I wish it was to my beauty channel. That's where I need my subscribers is in my beauty channel. Help me spread the word that Glamas trying to make her beauty channel grow. Um, and then I put it in my Leticia Wilson Facebook page that I just reopened. I had it shut down for about four or five months. And then I also put it in my Made with Love by Glamma Facebook page. And my Glam It Up with Glamma Facebook page. Okay. Oh, Lisa says her name is Sarah. I think I remember you telling me that now. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Are you there? Oh, she's not on today. I didn't see. I should have finished reading the sentence. Her name is Sarah. Not on today. She is at art school doing ceramics. Oh my word! I anyway. First, let me finish saying hi to her. Hi, Sarah. And I'm sure you'll be watching this later. And if so, thank you so much for watching. And I would love to hear all about what you made in ceramics class. Do you know, Sarah, that I have been wanting? I've been thinking about this for about two or three days. Because there's a pottery place here in Casterville. Can't believe that because there's only like 2,500 people here. But they actually have a little ceramics place here. And have you and your mom seen um, <clears throat> these little bowls for crocheting yarn balls? And they usually have like a little, like, here, let me get up higher. Like a little swirly like this, a little cutout that swirls through. You put your yarn ball in there and then you... Um, string your yarn through it and that way your yarn ball's not rolling all over the floor i so badly want one but instead of just a little swirly i want to see if they can help me make a glamour cut out like at the actual words g l a m a and then maybe the tail of the a be a little swirly where i can make the yarn come out of that's what i want so i uh i want to go see um Wait, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Oh, English only zone says her English is okay. Oh, is someone else typing this for you? So anyway, hello. <laughs> That's a pretty universal um, greeting, right? <laughs> or the wave. So glad to have you in here. Um, so yeah, Sarah, um, let me know next time when I'm on live. I'm thinking I might come on again maybe Friday, if not Friday, I'll try to be on Monday. 
Um, and maybe you can be in here with your mom and you can let me know what you made or what you're in the process of making. Maybe it's going to take a few, a few lessons, right, to finish your project. But anyway, I'm so glad that you're into art. Um, I have always been into art. I, um, I draw, I paint, I sketch, I consider crochet, knitting, um, applying makeup. I consider photography so many things as art because like with your face you start off with a blank canvas and you end up making your face look however it is you want it to look that day so yeah um let me see so yeah i'm so excited for you um and maybe you can send me a picture of what you made that would be awesome <laughs> what was i saying before this oh how i was just letting everyone know in my Facebook group pages that I was going to be on live. So that must mean that I'm doing pretty good, right? Because usually lately when I've done a live event, I've just like gotten on and wasn't quite sure if anyone was going to join me or not. And I thought if they do, great. If not, it's okay because I'm kind of feeling so so, but I'm feeling really good today. Um, I'm very chatty today, aren't I? Maybe I should tone it down and not your too. Um, so yeah, I made that review on the Revlon and I love the coverage. It's um, on the actual video, I put way too much on my stippling brush. So it's like, wow, it was, it was thick. But um, I barely have any on today and it's, it's covered my brown spots. And I have red patches on here. I didn't realize how much those patch, how red those patches are till I saw it on the video um, when I watched it back. But even with just a little bit, it really, here, when I do this, the color seems to come back. I'm not worthy. <laughs> For some reason, Adam's looking at me like I'm nuts. I said, when I do this, and he looks over at me. <laughs> It looks like I'm saying I'm not worthy. But for some reason, when I hold my hands up on both sides of the light, it kind of, the coloring tends to come back. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. See? Oh, but then it went away again. So I'm just going to do the whole <laughs> live event like this. Hey, what's up? <laughs> no, just kidding. All right, I'll stop. So yeah, if you haven't seen <laughs> my my beauty um, foundation review yet go check it out and I would totally appreciate um, y'all support in that channel um, like the videos if you like them only favorite them share them with your friends um, share my channel over to your friends and family and stuff I'm mostly gearing it towards 40 to 50 year olds and on top of that you know because my skin is olive and I'm Latina you know I'm also the stuff that I use on there is gonna probably the colors will be more geared towards you know Latina skin, but just because I get warm beige doesn't mean that the review wouldn't be good for you because you still see the consistency of the product and you still see the coverage of it. Um, yeah, if you go see it, it's like night and day. One side was completely. Um, circles and red patches free and the other side was totally there so i love this stuff this one was about almost 13 dollars. it was 12.90 something um the one i'm gonna do next is maybelline fit me and i bought three of them one of them was 13 which is a revlon one of them was almost eight and one of them was almost six so and the other two are maybellines one of the maybellines was almost eight like i said i think that's the fit me one and then I bought one that's like a whipped, um, like a, uh, it's like, it's supposed to be go on really smooth and creamy and it's supposed to give you like an airbrushed finish. So I'm going to do that one last. Um, but yeah, I hope I like all of them. I hope I like the least expensive one the most. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, and that's what I was saying that I'm trying to grow that channel too, because my husband is still out of work and. So we've basically been living on his unemployment and my Google um, YouTube channels. And so, and so I'm trying to grow the other channels that I have to help him out. Um, finance. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> I got a tickle in my throat. <coughs> to help him out financially to help supplement um, our income. Because <coughs> for sorry, I'm sorry. 
<coughs> I don't usually cough into my hands. Yeah, please. My husband just asked me if I wanted water. <coughs> Sorry. Gosh, my throat sounds like a like I'm a, a smoker, but I'm not a smoker. <coughs> um, yeah, for some reason, um, <coughs> in my Made with Love by Glamma crochet channel, um, it's gone down. I'm still getting a lot of subscribers, but um, the views and the, I guess maybe people are hitting the skip ad button because the money's gone way down. <laughs> I mean, it already wasn't that great to begin with, but um, it's gone even more down. So I thought, well, darn, I better do something. So I'm trying to um, grow my other channels to help supplement the fact that my Made With Love by channel um, monies has gone down a little bit. I'm sorry, I hate talking about money, <clears throat> but I'm just letting you know why I'm really trying to grow my beauty channel. <laughs> That's enough about that. I won't talk about that anymore. Well, I will say one thing. That I do understand why people hit the skip ad button because it is annoying to sit there and be waiting for an awesome crochet tutorial. Um, and then you have to sit through a minute or, you know, sometimes just 30 seconds. But so, someone told me that there was like a 23-minute commercial. I'm like, what? I have never seen that before in my life. But, um... I do understand that and that's why YouTube has actually put a support button on each of my channels where if they don't want to sit through the commercials and support the channel in that way all they got to do is hit the blue button that says support and they can help with 50 cents a dime whatever <laughs> anything helps so anyway now I'll stop stop talking about that because I hate talking about that and that's why I really I've seen a lot of people YouTube creators um, say, oh, I have a support button. Now. I don't, I didn't, I haven't done that. I won't do that because I don't like asking. Um, but I just wanted to let y'all know that if you want it to help and don't like watching the commercials, that's always an option too. Oh, Lisa said something. She says, really liked the foundation review. Oh, good. You watched it. I am looking for one that has good coverage to cover dark spots. That one will do it. I hate getting old. Ha ha ha. <laughs> don't you don't I know it. <laughs> I'm everything's starting to sag. I'm gonna be one of those that has jowls that hang down. I've got these lines right here. Can't see them right now because I got that bright light in front of me covering it all. But um yeah, and because I've gained I think 13 pounds. Yeah. Eek, 13 pounds. I've got a double chin now, so Maybe if I go like, I learned on America's Next Top Model that when you take a picture, don't just go like this. Go like this. Kind of like, I know it feels weird. See, if you were to turn to the side, it feels weird and looks weird. But from the front, it actually takes your double chin away. See, there's my double chin. And here's bringing it forward a little bit and just smile. It works, right? Isn't that crazy? But it works. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna, I have to remember to do that every time I take pictures. I don't always do that. What I do instead, because I have the double chin, is I, I'll hold up my selfie, my camera, I'll hold it like this so that it only gets this part of me and not the bottom. See, now you're knowing my, my secrets, <laughs> which is good. If I can share them and it helps someone else, yay! <laughs> and Fahima, Fahima Sayed is in here. She says, hi. Hi, Fahima. You were in here on Monday, too, and... Um, I think I cut out the portion of the live event where you actually said hi because there was no sound, there was no video, there was no nothing, but I remember actually talking to you and saying hi to you in the video. Um, so glad to have you back. I'm sorry, I'm jumping around from one topic to the next, but I know... Oh! I wanted to finish talking about um, the company that um, sent me um, the crochet hooks to test out. The reason I'm not making a tutorial yet is because I want to wait for a surprise that I've got for y'all. <laughs> so when I get the surprise, I'll make the tutorial. And like I said, don't forget to let me know if you want the next tutorial to be a pretty flower or a bracelet or an anklet or something like that. 
I'm not going to do the barefoot sandals yet because that'll put too much time and thought into it. I just want to keep this a short video for now. Um, so yeah, what else was I talking about that I didn't finish? Oh, for those of y'all that haven't seen my, uh, let me see if I can find it. My foundation review. This is this is what you can barely see it. But you can kind of even oh I don't know you can't see it because it's too washed out. But oh my word, as soon as I put it on, you could and then started spreading it around, you could totally see the difference. Um, oh, can you hear the music? Well, I think I got the right color. Yeah, as soon as I stop talking, you'll hear the music. Such pretty words. Anyway, um, this artist named Jasper Sawyer found my crochet channel. Fahima just said I would suggest a bracelet. Okay, um, I'll I'll uh, I'll see how many comments I get down in the bottom of this live event to see which one wins out: a bracelet slash anklet or just a simple flower that you can sew on anything. Um, anyway, this artist approached me. He emailed me on my um, crochet channel and he asked if uh, or he said that I would be welcome to use his music in my videos. He said, I think my music would go perfect with your videos that I've seen. And uh, so he sent me all the stuff that I need, all the copyright um, forms and everything. He sent me all the links to all of his songs. And so that's the first time I've ever used someone else's music. I'm going to probably write to my um, my nephew, Brandon. His name is Brandon Morgan. Go check him out on YouTube. He is an awesome artist. I would really love to promote his songs on my channel um, as well as Jasper's. Um, but Jasper has such a lovely voice and his lyrics are so beautiful. Um, and you can tell he puts, he's putting his life into his songs. It just sounds like it to me. Um, <laughs> and I made sure to listen to all the words before I okayed it because I didn't want any kind of foul language or, you know, you know, bad words or any kind of sexual innuendo or anything in the songs. And so the only songs I'll put on are the ones that, you know, I feel are good for all ages. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited about helping promote him. Um, and it helps my channel too, because it gives nice soothing music in the background. <clears throat> Let me see. So it says I only have one viewer, but English was in here, Lisa was in here, and Fahima was in here. I don't know who's still in here, and I don't know how long I've been on, but um, let me see. Yeah, okay. Oh man, I have a headache. I just started getting a headache like two seconds ago. Um, I think it's because I'm hungry. I'm trying to lose weight, so I need to eat. <laughs> um, <clears throat> man, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, just that I mainly want to know what y'all want me to make next. The flower, the bracelet, slash anklet. And I want to keep it a short video. Nothing really long or anything. So I'm excited about things that I have planned to crochet on my Made with Love by Glamour channel. I uh, want to make a summer top or two. I'm not going to have that much time to make too much in the summertime. <clears throat> Probably a summer top or two, maybe a bikini. I think I'll do the bikini bottoms in one tutorial, the top on another tutorial, and then maybe a barefoot sandal or two. <clears throat> what else? And just little um, like flowers and teach y'all different stitches and stuff too throughout, you know, throughout the summer. Um, and then for my Glam It Up channel, because like I, you know, I'm talking to all of my channels because this is Wake Up With Glam is going to be the hub of all of my channel, cha channels, channels where all of y'all can talk to me live. Um, so I'll be doing more reviews. I'll be doing more actual um, makeup tutorials. Um, I'm always nervous doing the actual makeup tutorials, like doing a smoky eye, because I'm still just learning myself. And 
YouTube critique can be really hard sometimes. You know, when I first started um, two years ago with my Made with Love by Glamour channel, oh my word, if somebody, I mean, and they can be ugly. Um, if somebody was ugly to me, like, you talk too much, you know, I got so sad for like a week. Um, I don't anymore because it, it just is what it is. And I know, I think they call them trolls when people just troll people's blogs and vlogs and videos just to purposely say negative things. I think that's what they're called nowadays. People are calling them trolls. So I know people are just doing that trolling just, you know, to make people feel bad, which I don't understand why. It's just not nice. Um, I am always, always, always saying that I am anti-bullying, always, whether it's cyberbullying, bullying in person, making someone feel bad about how they look or or how they talk or both of those things especially hit me really hard because I used to be really goofy looking, <laughs> at least in my opinion. Um, and I used to stutter really bad. So both of those things hit me really hard um, when I see someone else doing that to others. Um, anyway, I'm probably not going to be on very long because I can hear myself babbling a lot. Um, and I'm not getting any more comments. And I just kind of, but I know I didn't let y'all know everything I wanted to let you know because I keep getting sidetracked. Um, so that's what I did yesterday. No, I, the day before I did the foundation review and it took two days to upload it. Man, and it's only an eight minute video. A lot of hard work goes into these videos, I tell you. It's like seriously a full-time job, which it is a full-time job to me, but it seriously is. Um, and then, oh, I've been, make, I've been still working on that blanket, that pineapple blanket. And, oh, and I've also got, I never ever have whips. I never have works in progress. I usually am working on one thing and that's it. I don't like having things weighing me down. So I usually finish one thing, but I actually have that yellow sweater that I've been knitting with 100% cotton. I've done the front, I've done the back, and I've started on the sleeve. So I've got that sleeve and this sleeve to do and then I can sew it all together and it'll probably be all like this crooked <laughs> because I already noticed that on the back one my work okay here's the sides it went like this and then it started going downward a little bit which I don't understand why I seriously followed the instructions but oh well I'm still gonna wear it because I love and I made it big because I love big comfy sweaters um, so I got that going on so I got a couple whips going on um, all right I'm babbling and no one's saying anything else. So I think I will start saying goodbye. I'll, I'll say goodbye and then I'll wait a little bit to see if any of y'all are still in here and want to say goodbye as well. Oh, it says I have three viewers. Um, so if you have any comments or questions for me, I won't say goodbye. I'll keep talking to you. I'll wait a little bit and see um, if anyone else comes in here. Ow, my head hurts. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll get myself a, uh, some medicine. We have ibuprofen, right, babe? Yeah, it's open. Yeah, it's open. Ah! I don't want to take that many. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, there we go. All right, so excuse me while I take my ibuprofen. New message from Sylvia. My sister Sylvia just texted me, I guess. Okay, sorry for my departure there. Um, all right, so I gave it a couple. Let me refresh and see if maybe there's comments there and I'm just not refreshing. I hope I didn't just hit the X. <clears throat> okay, Lisa says, out to weed the garden. Have a great rest of your day. All right, bye. All right, so I'm going to say goodbye, like I said, because that was her goodbye. 
and everyone else must be shy. All right, guys, so I am going to try to be back on Friday. If not, I'll be here Monday and uh, let y'all know what I did for the weekend. And uh, so far, I have one recommendation for a bracelet slash anklet. And that probably will be a flower, too. Not sure. Maybe not. Maybe I won't make it a bracelet. Maybe I'll make it. Oh, I know. Here, let me show you something. Tell me if you like this bracelet. It's on, it's on my mannequin. I think it's really pretty. This dress makes me look like I'm pregnant because it's baggy. <laughs> I just looked, I just saw myself on camera. <laughs> My husband laughs. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's white, but it has a really awesome, let me see there if I cover that, it has a really awesome stitch and I put a really cool closure on it and you can use it as a bracelet or you can make it big enough to be a um an anklet you see so that's really pretty too i think you can make it in any colors you can make it this is in 100 percent cotton um which is kind of a thicker cotton but you can make it like in thread if you think this is too um too bulky so yeah i think that's really pretty pretty full all right so i might do something like this all right guys um thank you so much for those of y'all that joined me and i will see y'all on another day and don't forget that i love you and don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with all right guys bye Mwah.